China is planning to build an energy plant with an unlimited power supply. And I know some of you are thinking that it's free energy. So to make it clear, it's not a free energy machine, but rather the world's first fusion-fission hybrid power plant. The project is named the Xinhuo High Temperature Superconducting Reactor. And as we speak, it has entered its first phase, with an environmental impact assessment now underway. The project is set to cost $2.76 billion, and it's being constructed on an island which is rich in copper, and this a critical material for superconducting technology. It is a hybrid reactor and unlike traditional fission reactors, which split atoms to release energy, or experimental fusion reactors that mimic the sun's process of merging nuclei, this hybrid design combines both approaches. It uses fusion reactions to power high-energy fission at its core, creating a more stable and efficient system. The reactor aims for an energy gain factor, Q value, exceeding 30, far surpassing the Q value of 10 targeted by ITER, the famous fusion project in France. A higher Q value means the reactor produces significantly more energy than it consumes, a crucial step toward viable commercial power generation. One of the biggest advantages of this hybrid design is safety. Traditional fission reactors risk meltdowns if control is lost, but in this system, the fission process slows down once fusion stops producing neutrons, reducing the danger of catastrophic failure. The reactor can also use abundant fuels like deuterium and tritium for fusion, minimizing reliance on rare or hazardous materials. If successful, the Xinhua reactor could generate 100 megawatts of electricity, enough to power around 100,000 homes, while producing zero greenhouse gas emissions. The first phase is expected to wrap up by 2031, though it's unclear if full-scale power generation will be operational by then. If this project succeeds, it could revolutionize global energy systems, helping nations transition away from fossil fuels and cut pollution.